continue to follow a developing story in Venezuela. The day after opposition leader Juan Guaido's call for a military uprising, the video we're going to show you here is from Venezuela about an hour ago where there was a sense of uneasiness in the streets. Juan Guaido today stating the need to step up the pressure against President Nicolas Maduro's regime. He also called on supporters to take steps toward a general strike. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in Doral with the very latest. Hank? Well, Elliot, uh, indication of what's going on in uh, Caracas here in uh, Miami is not the biggest crowd that we had like last night here. And the same in Caracas, though, there are a lot of people in the street, not with the intensity and the drama of yesterday. Let's take a look. Are the hopes of a quick departure of Nicolas Maduro slowly fading? Despite the call for a massive May Day protest by interim president Juan Guaido, most of this day, well, the turnout on the streets did not measure up to Tuesday's demonstrations and the behind the scenes drama where a U.S. officials believed Maduro was on the ropes. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says Maduro hid out at a military base with Cuban troops on Tuesday and was on the verge of fleeing the country. We literally had Nicolas Maduro uh, getting prepared to get on his airplane and head uh, out of the country uh, before he was stopped. We stopped really at the direction of the Russians. Maduro denied those claims on a nationally televised address. The Russians also denied they were involved. Maduro promised to punish the protesters who squared off against government forces. But his government, police force, or army apparently has made no attempt to detain Juan Guaido, who seems to be moving freely around the capital city. Tuesday, Venezuelans clashed violently after opposition leader Guaido called for a military uprising, but only a small group of soldiers broke ranks with President Nicolas Maduro. The president's been very clear that he thinks that uh, the foreign uh, military presence in Venezuela needs to leave. In fact, Trump has threatened to ramp up the Cuban embargo and level additional sanctions if the Cuban government and their military advisors continue to prop up Maduro. Tuesday night, South Florida Venezuelans cheered as they watched Juan Guaido urge his supporters to get into the streets. Today, despite smaller crowds and not much of a local turnout, there's still hope. We don't know right now, but we hope we're going to, you know, <clears throat> and cry, but we're going to out work so hard for out of this Maduro. Well, we're going to continue to monitor events here and also in Venezuela. We'll have an update for you tonight at 7. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Chester, CBS 4 News. Back to you. Hank, thanks a lot for that update. Stay with CBS 4 News for continuing coverage of the conflict in Venezuela. We'll bring you any updates on air and online on our website, cbsmiami.com.